Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Stefano, and today I will talk to you about uh, parietal cortex. In a few words, uh, um, parietal cortex basically integrates different sorts of information uh, relating to uh, motor control. So the goal of this analysis that I will show you is to investigate uh, the planning phase and the execution phase in free PPC posterior parietal cortex areas during a reaching task. These uh, three areas are called V6A, PC, and P. Uh, V6A and PC are really similar to each other, are visomotor areas, and basically they integrate uh, visual and somatosensory stimuli, and they have also a motor neuron that encode different motor parameters like the depth and the direction of an arm reaching. Instead, PE is a somatomotor area. He contains motor neuron, but the majority of his population is uh, related to somatosensory information. And unlike to V6A and PC, PE is organized in a topographic map of the arms, upper arms. So uh, to keep this goal, I have analyzed uh, neural data regarding uh, in these three areas during a foveated reaching task. This is the task sequence. Uh, the task, uh, a trial began when the monkey uh, pressed a button of the monkey chair and is free to look where he wants. Then one of the nine targets that is located at the high level of the monkey lit up green and the monkey starts to fixate it, waiting for the go signal. That is given by a change of color from green to red. Then the monkey performed the movement and hold the reached position until the, um, the color of the target switch off. Then return in the initial position and another trial began. And these two highlighted in uh, red, uh, oops, in red and blue are the two epochs that I have analyzed. I have applied an optimized version of the principal component analysis uh, that basically uh, give us the opportunity to uh, explain the neural variability simultaneously in the two epochs and uh, give us the possibility to extract different kinds of subspace, exclusive subspace that I have called here plan subspace and move subspace and a shadow subspace. Basically, in the, um, in the exclusive subspace, we will see a strong dynamics only in the relative epoch and a weak dynamics in the other one. Instead, in the shortest subspace, we will see basically an activation in both the two epochs. Let's move to the result. In the columns, we have the three different areas. And in the row, we will see the different subspace that we find. So this is the plan subspace. Uh, each line represents the dynamics, uh, neural dynamics for a different target, so nine lines. And uh, as I already say, in the plan subspace, basically we have an activation just only during the, uh, the planning of the movement, and a weak activation during the, the movement phase in all the areas. Moving to the uh, move subspace, uh, we are in the opposite situation. We have an activation only during the movement, uh, and we have a weak activation in the planning phase. Regarding the shared subspace, uh, instead, we are able to find it only in V6A and PC, the visual motor areas, and not in P. And here, the dynamics are, uh, um, are strong in both the two epochs. So in conclusion, we have shown that uh, the um, PPC population activity evolved in this different neural subspace in order to make a different computation. That uh, in PE, that is uh, pri um, principally a uh, sensory areas, we can find only independent dynamics during the planning and the movement. Instead, uh, in V6A and PC, that are more computational areas, we are able to find both uh, independent and shared subspace. Thank you for the attention. <laughs>